Is the European Union trading democracy with terrorism? Hi there, I'm Sarah and welcome back to my channel. The love and support towards Erdogan is increasing ever more, thanks to the incredible one-sided bashing and news coverage of European politicians and its media. First of all, the Netherlands is violating the Vienna Convention which guarantees the right to sovereign status of embassies. Um, their intervention to stop the arrival of the foreign minister of Turkey to a democratic country to hold a democratic meeting with his own citizens is also an unheard of violation of international law. So I think the Netherlands has really upped the ante here and the, and the Netherlands has, uh, has joined um, the, uh, of course, Germany, Austria, and uh, German-dominated Switzerland uh, in, uh, in banning uh, the presence of, uh, of, of Turkish uh, representatives to discuss a national issue with their own citizens. While not many were really paying attention to what was going on in Turkey before, now the attention is completely on Turkey and the injustice they're facing and witnessing by European countries. <laughs> strategy to boost the soft power, and I guess no one could have come up with a better plan. Well done, Europe! Today, I have a message for the Turks. Your government is fooling you into believing that one day you will become a member of the European Union. Well, forget it. You are no Europeans, and you will never be. All right, Jackie, keep playing with your nose. Continue playing with your nose. Erdogan is the current ruling president of Turkey. He was democratically elected by the Turkish people with over 52% of the votes. But has witnessed a military coup to drop his government on the 15th of July 2016. Yes, you heard right. A military coup on a democratic country in the 21st century. Is this a joke? No. While it is somewhat confusing to understand why the makers of the so-called democracy and diplomacy are acting in such controversy, shooting into their own legs really, it is like proof to their real agenda hiding behind the fake ideologies. This entire incident only comes literally hours after Russia and Turkey announced that they had normalized relations between the two countries. So two countries which were at odds with one another have decided to make peaceful collaboration in their common interest and suddenly we see Germany, Austria, Switzerland and Holland banning the presence of Turkish elected representatives or government representatives to take part in a democratic debate. Now, I hate to bring these things up, but there are many people in the West who speak English as their mother tongue and don't understand that the word Dutch is just a diminutive form of the word Deutsch, which means German. And they also don't know, when, when Erdogan speaks of Nazi remnants, they don't realize that, historically speaking, that the Dutch volunteered for the Nazi SS at a higher percentage than Germans did. So, you know, Erdogan is not pulling things out of a hat. These are historical facts. Now, for Holland, for the Netherlands, to intervene to block the actu uh, uh, activation of the Vienna Convention, which guarantees the sovereignty of foreign embassies on its territory, is a violation at the highest level of international law. I don't see why or how they can be blaming Turkey for simply acting under existing law and no. trying to access its own embassy facilities. That explains why they opened their arms to traders. Wait a minute, what about Edward Snowden? He was not accepted. Now, that I call not fair. Hey Edward, I guess Merkel wants to be spied on. Keep spying. Merkel-style appreciation. Well, there you go. The makers of the bankster bailout 
not dear fellow Europeans be aware of who your government is allowing in stop allowing more terrorists fleeing Turkey into Europe the PKK is not what it stands for but a long-term terrorist organization soon to blow up on European soul are you out of your mind accept it you cannot integrate terrorists fleeing a democratic country European politicians are so bad in business well that explains the recession accepting all these cool plotters into the EU what are you doing that such a lousy business trade ouch Europe has falling into the trap of the poisonous sinister of the coup plotters that have fled Turkey into Europe and have allowed them to replace the values and ideals with the hypocrisy hiding behind the fake democracy they stand for. What a poor judgment and choice Europe has chosen, replacing democracy with terrorism entering European soul. While Turkey got rid of poison out of their land, Europe is poisoned by the leftovers of Turkey spreading very fast like a contaminated virus throughout Europe. One thing's for sure though, that the bill for the one-sided bashing has paid off for Turkey, but the cost in return will be high for Europe. Europe. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and leave your comments below. Thanks for watching the Young Europeans.